MC Kala. <laughs> Oh, everybody loves the rocket man. Said everybody loves the man. Oh, 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 oh. What am I having my mind starting this video like this? Guys, it ain't made a mooch. All right, what we got today? We've been stuck in the house. Wind's been blowing like a summer on the beach. And uh, we're heading out black fishing. Going out with Dennis, John, and Bobby. See if we can make a bite happen. All right, folks, I kind of fooled you. This is not a blackfish trip. What? This is a jigging fish trip. Huh? Is that even a good way to say that? Whatever. This is really what we're going to do. We're going to find out how to use your machine, how to identify fish, and how to jig them, all right? This is a perfect opportunity that we came across. We went out there blackfishing and had a good time blackfishing in Connecticut waters. One love to our friends over in Connecticut. They don't love you. All right, yeah, we come over there sometimes. We pillage their grounds, but they do the same thing to us. I see them every freaking fluke season coming over there. I'm ready to put one across the bow when hey. they come over. But hey, how you doing? It's all about one love and kick up cheese outdoors. It's the quid pro quo type of stuff. Shake it easy. All right. I keep saying shake it easy. All right, done. All right. So what we did here is after the trip, on the way back, heading back to the old New York State, beautiful New York State. I see a rip line, and my boy Dennis sees birds working the rip line. What does that do? Two and two equals four, pal. Now that was we go over there, rude. we rig up with jigs, and we go over there, and I take the Simrad machine, and I work the whole rip to see what these fish are holding on that rip. All right, so I'm trying to find these fish for these guys to jig up. Once we get them, I'll stop the boat. And here's where you could use A-scope if you want. Menu, view, A-scope, and there's A-scope. Again, it kind of gets me a little, I don't like it. I just don't like A-scope, got to be honest. Let's do this. Let's show the whole screen for these fish now. Back in action. All right, a couple of fish under the boat. Nothing crazy, though. Uh, Captain Gary, that was the Fishing Hall of Fame texting you again. Oh, my God. He's so obnoxious. Guys, on top of him right Who now. even watches these videos? Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Down the bottom. Huh? To the bottom and up. Hit the bottom and reel up. There's the bass right there. Nice fish, guys. All right, we've changed a lot of fish under the boat now, Dad. Once you get a bite. Wow. Drop it down, go down again. Down the bottom now. Wow. Down the bottom, jig up. You got one, Bobby? No, that's a fish. Yeah, a million fish under the boat. John, send him up, baby. Yeah. Johnny's on. Johnny's on. Oh, I got one. Right. Dennis is on. I let him go. You let him go? Okay. Do you have fish, Jason? <laughs> That's him right, don't lie, baby. That's him right, don't lie. Look at that. All right, Dennis is on the fish. Let me just show you what this Simrad reads. If you guys think this Simrad's a joke, check this out. Look at this. Look at that machine. Holy cow. That's a lot of fish there. Yeah. That's insane, though. Keep them going. All right. Some people will just arbitrarily drop jigs down and not look for fish and drop to dead water. What I did is... You'll see on the machine here, I kind of work the rip until I find those fish holding. All right, and then we, uh, I just tell my crew to drop on them. All right, if you look in the video here, you'll see that the arcs of big fish are, are big arcs. I'm running a Simrad NSS9 Evo 2, everybody knows that. And I have a TM150 transducer on the back. And TM150 transducers have medium chirp, all right? So medium chirps returns are longer, okay? Just so you know, you'll see some of these returns coming up and down the column. That's just fish rising up and down the column. So it's not a traditional just arc. It's kind of going up and down like that. So that's a fish either working up or working down, going after bait. No big deal. All right. The key is, is you want to know what these fish look like. All right. And they're long, thick returns. Very obvious in this. This is great target separation. You can see every single fish in this school. So one thing you have to take into consideration is the depth of those fish. You'll see the column is yay big. These fish are holding only at the bottom of the column. So I'm taking my guys and I'm telling them we're going to use a squidding technique. And squidding is when you take 
the jig and you drop it to the seafloor and you just reel up. You don't jig it, you just reel straight up, drop it, reel it straight up. It's an easy technique for kids. It's an easy technique for everybody and very effective, all right? So what I did is I told them to come up halfway up the column and drop back down. So if you're squidding and you're coming all the way to the top, the top part of that column is dead water. You're wasting time, you're just taking yourself out of the game. So I just kept saying, come up half column and drop it down. Come up half column and drop it down when we saw the fish, all right? Obviously, it didn't take long. John's on the fish, Dennis is on the fish, and uh, that's all this video's about. What? All right, it's just identifying fish. Don't go out there and arbitrarily just throw things into birds that you don't even see fish because the fish aren't there. You want to be able to say, okay, I see them on my machine. I'm telling my crew to drop on them and effectively fish these fish. Don't waste your own time. That's what these machines are for, all right? I don't care what machine you have, but use your machines, all right? That's all I got to say. Probably that's going to be a wrap for this uh, video, all right? So shake it easy. I hope you guys like that and enjoy, uh, enjoy the beginning of that video. <laughs> Whatever. All right, I got to keep it different. I got to make you guys want to watch these videos, all right? I know I give a tip or two in there, but you always have to have some shenanigans from Kid Coach Cheeks Outdoors. So shake it easy, take it easy, brush your hair, and that's it. Until next time.